Practice 1. Mindful Eating Mindful eating is a beautiful practice derived from Buddhist teachings, but it's not just about food. It's about awareness and appreciation. Imagine sitting down with your favorite meal. Instead of rushing through it, you take a moment to really look at your food, noticing the colors and textures. This is the start of mindful eating, being fully present with your meal. Now, as you begin to eat, you do so slowly, savoring each bite. You're not just eating, you're experiencing the food. This approach does wonders for your health. It helps you enjoy your food more, and you naturally start eating just the right amount. You become aware of your body's hunger and fullness signals, and this can lead to healthier eating habits. Mindful eating also transforms your relationship with food. It's no longer just fuel. Each meal becomes an opportunity for gratitude and joy. You start to appreciate the journey of the food, from where it was grown to how it was prepared. This gratitude can extend beyond the meal, enhancing your overall sense of well-being. By adopting mindful eating, you're not just feeding your body, you're nourishing your soul. It's a simple yet profound way to transform your health, bringing mindfulness and joy into every bite. This practice isn't just a diet, it's a way to live fully, enjoying every moment and every meal. Practice 2. Daily Meditation Daily meditation is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice, offering profound benefits for both mind and body. Imagine starting each day with a few minutes of quiet reflection. This simple act can ground you, providing a calm center to return to throughout the day. Meditation isn't about silencing your thoughts, it's about observing them without judgment. You learn to recognize your thoughts and feelings, giving you greater control over your reactions and emotions. The beauty of meditation lies in its flexibility. Whether you have five minutes or an hour, the time spent in meditation is invaluable. It's like a daily mental cleanse, washing away stress and anxiety. Over time, this practice can improve your focus, enhance your emotional resilience, and even boost your overall health. Many people find meditation challenging at first, but it's like any skill. It gets easier with practice. Start small, maybe just a few minutes a day, and gradually increase the time. The key is consistency. A daily meditation practice, even if brief, is more beneficial than sporadic longer sessions. Embracing daily meditation is embracing a journey towards inner peace and self-awareness. It's a gift to yourself, a quiet moment in our often hectic lives. As you integrate meditation into your daily routine, you may notice subtly yet profound changes in your approach to life's challenges and joys. Practice 3. Compassionate Living Compassionate living is at the heart of Buddhist teachings and it's a practice that can transform not just your life, but also the lives of those around you. Living compassionately means understanding and empathizing with others' feelings and experiences. It's about offering kindness and support, not just to friends and family, but to all beings, including yourself. This practice starts with small steps. It could be as simple as listening attentively when someone is speaking, offering a helping hand without being asked or even just sharing a smile. These actions, though small, can have a ripple effect, spreading positivity and kindness in ever-widening circles. But compassionate living isn't just about actions, it's also about mindset. It involves seeing beyond our own immediate concerns and recognizing the interconnectedness of all life. By doing so, we foster a deeper sense of empathy and understanding for the struggles of others. What's truly beautiful about compassionate living is how it comes back to you. When you live compassionately, you're not only improving the lives of others, you're also nurturing your own emotional well-being. This practice brings a profound sense of fulfillment and peace reinforcing the idea that by helping others, we help ourselves. Embracing compassionate living is a journey that enriches your life in unexpected ways, deepening connections and fostering a greater sense of purpose and joy. Practice 4. Regular Physical Activity Regular physical activity is a vital component of a healthy lifestyle, and it aligns perfectly with Buddhist teachings on taking care of our body. 
Incorporating regular exercise into our routine isn't just about fitness, it's a form of respect for the incredible vessel that carries us through life. Engaging in physical activity doesn't have to mean hours at the gym or running marathons. It can be as simple as a daily walk, a yoga session, or even gardening. The key is to find an activity that you enjoy, something that feels less like a chore and more like a treat for your body and mind. Regular exercise has numerous benefits. It boosts your mood, increases your energy levels, and improves overall health. It's not just about building muscle or losing weight. It's about nurturing your body, giving it the strength and care it needs to carry you through your daily life. What's wonderful about making physical activity a regular part of your life is how it blends with mental well-being. As you strengthen your body, you also clear your mind, reduce stress, and improve your focus. It's a holistic approach to health, embracing the interconnectedness of body and mind. By committing to regular physical activity, you're not just taking care of your physical health, you're investing in your overall well-being, honoring your body, and enhancing your capacity to enjoy life to its fullest. Practice five, adequate rest. Adequate rest is a fundamental aspect of maintaining a healthy, balanced life. It's often overlooked in our busy, fast-paced world, but Buddhist teachings remind us of the importance of rest for both the body and mind. Adequate rest isn't just about getting enough sleep at night, although that's a big part of it. It's about giving yourself permission to pause, to recharge, and to reflect. Resting allows our body to heal and rejuvenate. During sleep, our bodies repair themselves and our brains consolidate memories and process information. This isn't just about physical health. It deeply impacts our mental and emotional well-being too. When we're well-rested, we're more patient, more focused, and more emotionally balanced. It's also important to find moments of rest throughout the day. This can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths, enjoying a quiet cup of tea, or just sitting peacefully for a few minutes. These brief pauses can be incredibly restorative, especially in the middle of a hectic day. Embracing the practice of adequate rest is about respecting our body's needs and acknowledging the importance of balance. It's a commitment to self-care that enriches our lives in countless ways. By ensuring we get enough rest, we equip ourselves to face life's challenges with a clear mind and a rejuvenated spirit. Practice six, detachment from unhealthy habits. Detachment from unhealthy habits is a transformative practice deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings. It's about recognizing habits that don't serve us well and gently letting them go. These habits could be anything from excessive screen time to unhealthy eating patterns or negative thought processes. The key to detachment is mindfulness. It starts with becoming aware of our habits and understanding why we do them. Often we find that these habits are coping mechanisms for stress, boredom, or other underlying issues. By bringing mindfulness to these behaviors, we can start to see them for what they are, temporary fixes that don't truly serve our well-being. The process of detachment isn't about harsh self-criticism or abrupt changes. It's a gradual journey of self-discovery and kindness towards oneself. It involves creating healthier habits that align with our deeper values and goals. For example, replacing screen time with a walk outside or swapping processed snacks for healthier options. Detachment from unhealthy habits is not just about physical health. It's also about mental and emotional well-being. As we release these habits, we often find that we feel freer, lighter, and more in tune with ourselves. This practice is a step towards a more mindful and fulfilling life, where our actions reflect our true needs and aspirations. Practice seven, building community connections. Building community connections is an essential part of a fulfilling life and a key aspect of Buddhist teachings. It's about creating and nurturing relationships that provide support, joy, and a sense of belonging. In today's world, where many feel isolated, building these connections is more important than ever. Creating community connections can start with small steps. It could be as simple as saying hello to your neighbors, joining a local group or club, or volunteering for a cause you care about. These actions open doors to new relationships and experiences, enriching your life and the lives of others. 
Engaging with your community brings a sense of interconnectedness. It reminds us that we're not alone in our journey through life. These connections offer emotional support, provide different perspectives, and allow us to share our skills and learn from others. They create a network of mutual care and assistance, which is especially valuable in challenging times. Building community connections also promotes empathy and understanding. As we interact with people from different backgrounds and experiences, our understanding of the world expands. We become more compassionate and open-minded qualities that are essential in today's global society. By investing in community connections, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to a more cohesive and compassionate society. It's about being part of something larger than ourselves, finding joy in shared experiences and supporting each other in our collective journey. Practice eight, gratitude. Practices. Gratitude practices are a powerful tool for transforming our mindset and enhancing our overall well-being. In Buddhism, gratitude is seen not just as a feeling, but as a daily practice that can change the way we see the world. It's about recognizing and appreciating the good in our lives, even in small everyday moments. Starting a gratitude practice can be simple. One way is to keep a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for. These could be as simple as a delicious meal, a call from a friend, or the feeling of the sun on your face. The act of reading them down shifts your focus to the positive aspects of your life, fostering a sense of contentment and happiness. Another practice is to express gratitude to others. Saying thank you to someone not only brightens their day, but also reinforces your own feelings of gratitude. This creates a positive cycle where expressing gratitude brings more joy both to you and the people around you. Gratitude practices help us realize that even in difficult times, there is always something to be thankful for. This shift in perspective can reduce stress, improve mood, and foster a greater sense of resilience. By regularly practicing gratitude, we cultivate a deeper appreciation for life, enhancing our connections with others, and bringing more joy into our daily experiences. Practice nine, connection with nature. Connecting with nature is a deeply enriching practice that brings numerous benefits to both mind and body. In Buddhist teachings, nature is seen as a source of profound wisdom and a path to inner peace. When we immerse ourselves in the natural world, we're reminded of the beauty and simplicity of life. Spending time in nature can be as simple as taking a walk in a local park, gardening, or just sitting quietly under a tree. These moments allow us to breathe fresh air, feel the sun or the breeze on our skin, and observe the intricate details of the natural world. This connection helps us feel grounded and part of something larger than ourselves. Nature also offers a unique space for mindfulness and meditation. The sounds of birds singing, leaves rustling or water flowing can be incredibly soothing, helping to clear our minds and reduce stress. It's an opportunity to step away from the hustle and bustle of daily life and just be present in the moment. Moreover, spending time in nature enhances our appreciation for the environment, fostering a sense of responsibility to take care of our planet. It's a reciprocal relationship. As we care for nature, it cares for us, providing a sanctuary for reflection, healing, and inspiration. By regularly connecting with nature, we nourish our souls, find clarity, and cultivate a deeper sense of well-being. It's a simple yet powerful way to reconnect with ourselves and the world around us. Practice 10, continuous learning and growth. Continuous learning and growth are essential concepts in Buddhist teachings and play a crucial role in personal development. This practice is about embracing the journey of learning throughout life, understanding that there is always something new to discover and ways to evolve. The beauty of continuous learning is that it doesn't have to be formal education. It can be as simple as reading a book, exploring a new hobby, or even engaging in conversations with people from different backgrounds. Each of these experiences offers new insights and perspectives, enriching our understanding of the world and ourselves. This commitment to growth also involves self-reflection and mindfulness. It's about taking time to look inward, acknowledge our strengths and weaknesses, and set goals for personal improvement. 
This introspection helps us understand our true passions and values, guiding our learning journey in meaningful directions. Moreover, continuous learning and growth foster adaptability and resilience. By constantly challenging ourselves and stepping out of our comfort zones, we become more flexible and capable of handling change. This not only enhances our personal lives, but also prepares us to contribute positively to society. Embracing a mindset of continuous learning and growth is not just about acquiring knowledge, it's about cultivating a curious and open mind, ready to explore new ideas and embrace change. This lifelong journey enriches our experiences, deepening our understanding and appreciation of life's complexities. These 10 practices offer a holistic approach to living a healthier and more fulfilling life. From mindful eating to continuous learning, each practice is a step towards self-improvement and well-being. They're not just individual actions, but a comprehensive way of living that encompasses physical health, mental clarity, emotional balance, and spiritual growth. By integrating these practices into our daily lives, we embark on a journey of transformation that not only enhances our own lives, but also positively impacts those around us. Remember, it's about progress, not perfection. Each small step we take is a part of a larger journey towards a more mindful, compassionate, and enriching life. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video.